What's up guys, it's the Jersey Jaguar. And in today's video, we're gonna go over two different methods on how to wash a jersey. The first method is going to be how to hand wash a jersey. And the second method is going to be how to wash a jersey in a washing machine. Now guys, we're gonna go over different materials and which is the best situation for why you should hand wash a jersey versus why you should wash a jersey in the machine. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna go over the preparation and the what not to do's for washing your jerseys, regardless of the technique you do choose to use. First and foremost, guys, always test a unnoticeable part of your jersey for the water temperature and the different products that you're using on it, all right? You wanna make sure that your jersey can withhold the temperature and that the products you're using are not going to damage or draw ink out of the jerseys that you're washing. Number two, and this is extremely important, do not use fabric softener while washing jerseys in any of the process do not use fabric softener it will mess with the tackle twill it will mess up your jersey stay away from fabric softener please all right guys next if you're going to be doing a oxyclean soak meaning you're going to pre-soak your jersey in oxyclean powder start with cold water if the cold water works work your way up to a little bit warmer and a little bit warmer Obviously, the hotter the water, the better the OxyClean is going to work. However, I had had situations where the OxyClean soak with hot water did draw some dye out of the jerseys. So always start cold and work your way up if you need to. All right. Now, guys, in terms of detergent, I highly recommend a dyeless, meaning a colorless detergent and a odorless one as well. If you could find an all natural one, that would be great. Now guys, the reason why I don't like odors or dyes is because it could be left on the jersey when you're done washing it. Uh, one of the ones that I use looks something like this. There's a bunch of different brands, all right? It's up to your choice which you wanna use. However, again, I recommend odorless and colorless for the process. All right, so first things first, we're gonna identify what this yellowing is over here around the collar it looks to be sweat so oxyclean max force should get it out so we're just going to pre-treat that spray it around that collar in that area that's affected do a little on the other parts of the jersey as well just to be safe so we really want to get it in there and do the same on the front and the back all right Make sure it's in there nice and well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a old toothbrush with soft bristles on there and scrub it in lightly. And as you can see, or maybe you can, I don't know how good the lighting is on the camera, but it's already starting to fade off at some parts. Now guys, the longer you pre-treat your jersey, the more likely it is to come out. And again, always test the material to make sure that it is safe. I'll give it one more spray so it really soaks in there. One more scrub with the toothbrush. Now, if you don't have a toothbrush um, lying around this extra, you could always take the material one on with the other and just rub it together, all right? So make sure you get all the affected areas. One more time. All right, so that looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit like that for a couple hours. And then after that, I'm going to let it sit in a OxyClean powder bath for roughly like an hour to two hours. All right, so I had the soaking in OxyClean powder for a little bit. Now guys, I use just like a regular detergent scoop because the scoop for the OxyClean powder I can't find. So I used about half of this. I mixed it in there really well. And as you can see, just having the soak in there and moving the jersey around a little bit, you can already see how dirty and murky the water is, all right? So guys, um, keep in mind, you do not 
have to do this process or spraying it with OxyClean like I showed you in the previous clip, right? It's just something I'm doing for this specific jersey because it is extra soiled. So guys, now that we have the pre-soak and the preparation done, we're gonna go ahead and start the hand washing process, all right? So I'm gonna drain this water from the, from the uh, water basin and put fresh water and detergent in it. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're on to the actual hand washing segment of the video. So guys, um, what I'm using is just a little bit. You can see that amount right there of odorless and colorless laundry detergent. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill it up with a little bit of water, splash it around, pour it on the jersey. Now notice on this hockey jersey, I'm having the crest stay flat as possible because I don't want any creases to get in there, guys. On hockey jerseys, uh, the hockey heads that are watching the video are already gonna understand and know that once you get creases in those crests, it's extremely hard to get out. For you guys who aren't familiar with hockey jerseys, it is extremely hard to get out. Now guys, um, also too, if you have heat pressed jerseys and uh, numbers, you wanna keep them flat as possible too, all right, for the same reason. So we're just gonna mix it around a little bit. So guys, you don't have to use a water basin like this. You could use a sink if it's big enough and you can use a bathtub. I actually like using the bathtub the best. Just make sure you scrub the tub beforehand and the sink. All right, make sure you have a clean sink and a clean bathtub. Anything that's in there that shouldn't be is gonna get under your jersey and possibly stain it or make the process a lot more difficult than need be. All right, so I have the water in here and the soap. All I'm gonna do is work it around, all right? Now, that OxyClean pre-soak already got out most of the dirt. On an older jersey like this, you would see the, the water turn like a dark brown right about now. Now guys, I'm using a little bit hotter water. It's not scalding hot or boiling hot or even steaming hot, but it is pretty, uh, pretty dang warm. This is air knit material and king mesh. Both of these stand up pretty well with uh, warmer to hot water, so it's okay. Like I've been saying, I can't stress it enough, always start cold and work your way up, right? So notice I'm getting the nice lather in there. On the, on the crest itself, this one is suede right here. So I'm just going to leave that nice and gentle, guys. Um, cleaning suede is a whole nother process, all right? Actually, to clean that suede, I'm going to use a suede cleaning kit from a pair of uh, Timberland boots that I have. All right. And now, guys, if you start to see some wrinkles in your crust or your numbers, pull them a little bit, and they'll slightly come out and just lay it back flat. All right, guys? Gently flip it over. Okay. And do the same thing on the back side of the jersey. You want to make sure that you're getting all areas of the jersey fully washed and lathered. If you notice some spots and need extra elbow grease on there, go ahead and work those in. Now you can use the toothbrush, like I showed you earlier, for really tough stains, or in this case, just rubbing it side to side with its own material is gonna work fine. All right, guys. So we're, what we're gonna do is once we get this whole thing nice and lathered up, you're going to rinse out this water, okay? I mean, you're gonna pour the water out, refill it with clean water, and keep doing that until the water is clean and until there's no more soap in the jersey, all right? Again, I'll repeat that. After you're done lathering it up and the water you know, is, is darker and you can see the water is dingy, pour that water out, refill it with clean water, and Lather it up, uh, lather it up again without adding in more soap and just keep rinsing it and filling it up back with fresh water until both the water and the jersey no longer has soap or dirt in it. All right, guys, now I recommend um, if you're using the bathtub or the sink, uh, when you spill out the water or drain the water in that case, just, just hold it under the running water and rinse out the soap like that. It's going to work a lot easier. All right, guys. 
so again first steps pour the soap into the water all right mix it all around lather up the jersey get the dirt out you're going to spill out the water put clean water and if you have a sink or a bathtub run the jersey under the under the cold uh clean water for a little bit put it back in here move it around and keep repeating until it is clear water and the jer jersey no longer has soap and that's it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish that now and i'm gonna come right back to you guys all right so we got the jersey cleaned and we got the water drained now guys if you look those uh stains around the neck are pretty much gone all right so it worked so we got two options for drying now okay we could put it in a uh, washing machine just on spin cycle meaning all it's going to do is spin the water out or you can hang dry it now if you guys hang dry just put it on a hanger hang it up obviously i recommend hanging it over a tile over a sink over a bathtub uh basically over somewhere where it's not going to damage the surface under it all right guys and what it is hang drying i like to periodically take the sleeves and just like that i like squeezing the water out as well as the bottom of the jersey all right what i do too is when i hang dry it or after i pull it out of the spin cycle i put a fan in front of it while it finishes drying right just a straight it could be an oscillating fan it could be a regular fan i put a fan on high speed setting and I just let it sit there and then depending on the material it could be dry anywhere between like 30 minutes and I don't know two hours it just depends on the material and how uh, what it is all right all right so we're going to go ahead and start the process for washing a jersey in the washing machine now guys this is for a vertical top loading machine meaning that you put the clothes from the top of the washing machine not from the side all right so guys what you want to do always put the water to the coldest temperature i like the highest spin so that way it dries quicker uh, when you hang dry it and light a soil level quick wash should be good or delicate um guys do not use fabric softener okay do not use fabric softener do not use fabric softener i repeat do not use fabric softener all right guys so now that we got that out of the way Let's go ahead and look at the jersey once it's in the machine. All right, guys. So as you can see, I turned the jersey inside out, and that's what you're going to want to do for the vast majority of the time. Now, guys, it's only one jersey per load, meaning don't mix jerseys with other jerseys when you wash, and don't mix jerseys with other types of clothes when you wash. Keep it simple. If you do it and mix jerseys with other clothes or other jerseys, you will run a risk of damaging the jersey somehow. Okay. Now, like I said, no fabric softener. Uh, I like to stick to the odorless and colorless laundry detergent, like I said, multiple times. All you really need is about a quarter of a measuring cap full, meaning that like, you know, like clear top that comes with it. Only about a quarter, maybe a little bit less, maybe a fifth or so uh, for the single jersey. Now, guys, when you get it out, it's going to be damp, but not wet. So when you hang it up you could use a fan but it's not necessary i still like to use a fan to speed it up now guys do not put your jerseys in the drying machine do not do it okay even without the heat do not do it all right um it's not worth it you will probably mess up your jersey in some way or fashion all right guys All right, and so now you know two different techniques on how to wash your jerseys. Guys, I truly hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Also, if there's another video that you'd like to see me do in the future, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to get it done. If you guys enjoyed my video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.